This is my raised bed garden. It is about 15 years old and I've decided to redo the entire garden over. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling all the soil back and I'm putting new material down against the fence so I don't lose my good soil through the fence. The material I used was not UV protected and it broke down over the last 15 years. And I now have to redo that. So I'm gonna pull all that soil forward and I'm gonna reload my garden with leaves, sticks, logs, and then on top, soil. And I'll show you how I do that. First thing though, the hard part, getting rid of all the stupid chickweed, which I've been battling for years. First step is getting rid of all the weeds. So I'm just gonna roll them over and pull them all off the top. Shouldn't take that long. As you can see, I have really rich black soil. That's from using all of the uh, wood and leaves that I put in my garden. I'll continue this until the entire garden is clean of chickweed. I wanted you to see how beautiful this soil is. This soil is basically years and years of putting leaves and wood in my garden. And look how beautiful and black that is. What I'm doing now is I'm removing all the root systems from the chickweed. And I'm just stirring up the top so all the roots show themselves. And I'm getting rid of them. So I don't want none of those root systems in it. And, but look at that soil. This is North Carolina. We don't have soil like this. You do, if you mix leaves and wood together for years, you get a beautiful soil. And you'll see as I build this, I'm going to be adding a lot more leaves and a lot more soil. And here's my enemy. This is morning glory coming up. And I'm going to get them all out. So I have this full wheelbarrow of weeds I just pulled out of my garden. And what I'm doing on this raised bed garden is I'm pulling it way back to get to the bottom to put new material against the fence. And I'm gonna take this material from the wheelbarrow that I just pulled out and I'm gonna use that as organic material way down deep in my garden so it can't grow back. And I'll cover that with logs and leaves. You can see what I did was I dug down about two feet and I filled that up with the uh, chickweed I just pulled out. Now I'm gonna cover that with leaves and then I'll cover that with soil. I have about a foot of chickweed there and what I'm gonna do is now, I don't want this growing back through my garden. So what I'm gonna do is try to put the soil down. I'm gonna put a heavy layer of leaves. The leaves will build a barrier between these weeds so they won't come back so fast and they'll break down and become a really nice soil. And soil's expensive, so I don't want to have to spend money to refill this whole thing by buying soil. So I use the, organ the organics that are naturally found at my house. My leaves, the wood, and other products that are just thrown around. Now that I got the chickweed completely covered with leaves, I'm going to push my soil back over it, and that's what I'm going to plant in. And this will save me a lot of money. Actually, over 80% of this bin is leaves and old wood and logs and stumps that I throw in it. It's not all soil. So it saved me a ton of money. And the logs continually stay moist, help feed the plants, break down the soil, and it really helps with watering. Okay, I got that part filled with the weeds I just pulled out and leaves. And you can see it about filled it, and now I'm just going to push the soil back over it, and that'll be ready for planting. Now I'll take my soil, and I'll push my soil lightly over top of the leaves. I might not have enough, I might have to get more, but I'm hoping I have enough. As you can see, I would have filled that whole thing with soil, that saved me. A lot and I got wood in there I always put wood in my garden just cover it up and it will hold moisture and the plants that are closest to that wood will do the best as you can see I filled up with layer leaves a layer of wood and a layer of leaves and I repeat this until I'm about eight inches from the top then I cover it with soil just a great way to get a bunch of organic material that stores water feeds your plants and also helps you not to have to buy soil Another layer of wood, 
another layer of leaves and then a layer of soil as you can see I'm really putting the wood in thick and the plants that grow the closest to the wood will be my biggest and healthiest plants especially after this wood gets about a year old absolutely love putting wood in my gardens I got the whole thing level now with leaves over top of the wood and now I'm going to cover it back with soil. Now that I got my leaves covered, I'm just going to bring the soil back down that I pulled out and spread it back over the leaves. And I'm going to repeat this for the whole garden. And remember, when I started this, I didn't have enough soil for the garden. It was down way low. When I'm done, she'll be filled to the top with soil. Without buying any, just using the debris from around my yard, the leaves and wood. Okay, as you see, the bed is getting close to the top. I got the leaves mostly covered with soil. I still have a little bit more here to do. But I have almost half of my raised bed system ready for planting. And I'll be doing that probably today or tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'll come out here and I'm going to put my, all my lettuces, shards, and cabbages out. But I'm getting there, about halfway finished.